a very good morning children uh, welcome to today's max class uh, as i'm not able to uh, to attend online class uh, today so due to some uh, emergency i am sending a recorded video okay so kindly watch the uh, content in the recorded video follow the instructions okay children so today i will be starting a new chapter that is block 3 so we are starting a new chapter and the block 3 lesson 1 that is your block 3's lesson name is hundreds tens and ones it's a very simple chapter which you have already studied the representation of hundreds tens and ones so we are starting block 3 okay so the lesson name of block 3 is hundreds tens and ones okay so you already you have already learned what is the meaning of hundreds what is the meaning of tens what is the meaning of tens so that is the reason you learned and you wrote the numbers 101 to 999 okay so till here you have written in your class work and very happy to see that many of you have finished writing 101 to 999 and followed the instruction to be written colorfully also so very happy to see some of your books okay so as i told you the three digit number has the place value okay all the three digit numbers any digit numbers will have a place value so if it is two digit numbers it will have a two place value that is ones and tens if it is a three digit number it will have a place value hundreds tens and ones so that is the reason you wrote any three digit number representing h2o so h means hundreds p means tens and o means ones okay so h means hundreds p means tens and o means ones okay for example let me take an example 236 okay so when i write 236 i need to represent it in the place value chart okay so this is my number 236 so how will you represent in the place value chart you put here ones you put here tens you put here h so h t o okay so that means 2 is in hundreds place 3 is in tens place 6 is in ones place so you have learned this concept okay so 236 to represent 236 in the place value chart you will write the place value chart over here so o p h or h t o this side so 6 is in ones place 3 is in tens place and 2 is in hundreds place okay so 2 is in hundreds place Okay, so we will give some more example. Seven thirty six, eight forty nine, nine sixty two. These are the numbers. So how we represent them? All these are three digit numbers. Okay. So let's write the place value chart. So this is my place value chart for three digit number H T O. So seven thirty six, seven three and six. Okay. So six is in ones place six is in which place ones place so since it is in ones place it is a single digit number it is called as six now three is in which place our three is in tens place so three is in tens place means what is the value for that it is 30 okay so this you have learnt in your uh, place value chart in in the starting lesson okay so seven is in which place seven is in hundreds place Okay, so what is the place value? Seven hundred. Understood? Yes. Okay. So this is the concept, and you will represent each one with a block. So just like, just like your previous lesson. Okay. So tens. How do you represent tens? You have this is the representation of tens. A long rectangle bar is a representation of the tens, and ones ones is a small square okay so this is the representation of a small square and in this class you will be learning how do you represent our hundreds okay so our hundred is represented as a big square okay fine so 
power 100 is represented as a big square. So if I have one big square, it is 100. If I have two big square, it is 200. If I have three big square, it is 300. If I have four big square, it is 400. If I have five big square, it is 500. Okay. So this is how you represent the hundreds. So tens and ones you only learnt in the previous class. Yes or no? So you represent a long rectangle bar is equal to tens. If you have two like this, two picture of this, it is 20. If you have three this, it is 30. If you have four, it is 40. If you have five, it is 50. If you have six, it is 60. Okay. So similarly, this is ones. If I have small square, one and two. So it is two. If I have this three, it is three. If I have this 4, it is 4 ones. Okay. So, this is how the representation of your 10s, 1s and 100s. Okay, children. Okay, I will explain once again. So, block 3, you are going to learn about 100s, 10s and 1s. All the 3 digit number, all the 3 digit, uh, all the 3 digit uh, number will have the place value H, T and O. Okay. So, when I write 736, so mention H, T, O and write 7, 3, 6. Here 6 is in 1's place, 3 is in 10's place, 7 is in 100's place. Okay. The same way, 849. 849. So 9 is in 1's place, 4 is in 10's place and 8 is in 100's place. The next example is 9, 6, 2. Okay. So 960. Two. So here in 962, 2 is in 1's place, 6 is in 10's place, 9 is in 100's place. Okay. So now you learn the place value chart. Let's represent the numbers. So for this we will go straight away to our exercise. Okay. So open your page number 19. Volume 1, content book. Volume 1, Content Book, open page number 19. So, under page number 19, you have practice questions. Okay. So, let me read out the question for you. Fill in the blanks. 73 is equal to dash 10s and dash 1s. 49 is equal to dash 10s and dash 1s. Okay. So, this is uh, this is very uh, revision part for you. You have already learnt in your uh, last chapter about this. So, it's just a revision part. So, page number 19, first main, first one, fill in the blanks. Okay. So, here 73 is equal to dash 10s, dash 1s. Okay. So, here 73 is a two digit number. So, two digit has a two place value chart. So, write 1s, 10s. That's all. So, now tell me 7 is in which place? 7 is in 10s place. So, right here. 7 tens and 3 is in ones place. So 7 tens and 3 ones. Okay. So write down children. Write down there in the top blank 7 tens, 3 ones. In this fill in the blank, write 7 and write 3. Okay. Yes. You can pause and then start writing. Since it is a recorded video, you can pause here, write the answer. You can on and then continue with the next. So in 49, 49 dash 10s dash 1s. Okay. So in 49 dash 10s dash 1s. So our 4 is in, this is O place, this is T place. So 4 is in 10s place and in 1s place you have 9. Okay. So 4 10s and 9 1s. So 4 10s, 9 1s. Okay. Understood? Yes. So this is the first main children. I hope you have understood the first concept. And now I will move on to the second one. You, you have to copy down this in your classwork. Think this is an online class and start doing according to my instructions. You need to copy these answers in your textbook. Okay. Do not waste time. So the first main is done. So we will go to the second main. I will read the question for you. Look at the place value blocks. Draw a place value table. Write the number and the hundreds, tens and ones in each number. So they have given you some the representation. 
they have given you the representation okay so seeing the representation you should find out what number is this so let me write the question for you children so the big square you have three so one two three and the long rectangle bar you have two one two okay and the next small squares you have seven okay so one two three four five six seven okay so this is your hundreds column this is your tens column and this is your ones column okay so the big square gives you the hundreds place the big square gives you the hundreds place okay so now let's count how many boxes are there so that represents how many hundreds so each box is 100 okay so this is 100 the next box will be 200 the next box will be 300 so you have one box two box three box right so each box is 100 the next box is 200 the next box is 300 so in hundreds column you have 300s okay so in hundred columns you have three hundreds and each long rectangle represents 10. So this is 10, the next will be 20. So how many tens are there? We have two tens. Okay, how many tens are there? We have two tens. And how many singles, single digits, ones are there? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in our ones column, it is seven. So three hundreds. Two tens, seven ones, and the number makes you three hundred and twenty-seven. Okay, the number makes you three hundred and twenty-seven. And if you want to write the expansion forms of this, so here it is three hundred. So this would be three hundred, and this is twenty, and plus this is seven. So this is your expansion form. Okay, so. Expansion form, I, I will explain you in detail in the next chapter, okay? So, just making you updated. So, 300 plus 20 plus 7 is the expansion form. You have expanded two digit numbers in your previous classes. Just add on to the 100, okay? So, only if you, if you know this, that's more than enough. This one, I will explain you in detail, okay? So, I have here in hundreds, hundreds, 3 is represented. In tens, it is 2 and in ones column, it is 7. So, 3, 2, 7 forms your number 327. Since 3 is in 100's place, I can write it as 300. 2 is in 10's place, I can write it as 20. And 7 is in 1's place, I can write it as single number 7. Okay? So, this is the concept. Hope you have understood children. I will explain once again. This is your question. So, uh, depending upon the question, you should find how many 100's are there, how many 10's are there and how many... <coughs> ones are there okay so in hundreds column i have three so you hundreds you will represent as three ten you have two tens so you represent as two and the single digits you have seven you represent as seven and the given number for the representation is 327 and the representation is 327 okay children yes so we'll move on to the next one Okay, so the answer for this is, you should write like this, H T O three two seven. okay. Yes. The next one is B. So, big squares, you have 5, then now. Uh, Tens you have two, then no, tens you have three, sorry, and once you have two. So this is your hundreds column, tens column, ones column. Okay, so how many hundreds are there? One, two, three, four, five. So in hundreds column, in H T O. My hundreds column is 5. So, what is the value here? It is 500. Okay. 
so in my hundreds column one two three four five is there and in hundreds place we will write five and the value for this is five hundred in tens place one two three okay so there are three tens so three tens means ten twenty thirty so what is the value of tens it is thirty okay yes so in our tens column how many digits are there three digits so three tens and then in ones one and two so in our ones column it is two so in our ones column it is two so five hundred what is the number then the, this this representation is a number for 532 okay this is the representation for the number 532 and the expansion form is values 500 plus 30 plus 2 okay yes so i explain once again i explain once again children so here they will give you the picture representation for each picture representation you need to write the number you need to write the find out what number is there in the representation okay so here in the hundreds column 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 500 okay so there are 500 so in the hundreds column you are, you are represented by number 5 and here tens column how many tens are there 1 2 3 so how many tens are there 3 tens and what is the value of 3 tens 10 20 30 that is what written here as 30 and how many ones I have? 1 and 2. So that is what I have written. Ones column, 2 ones. Okay, and the value of 2 ones is 2 itself. So 532 is the number for the given representation. Okay, okay, children. Yes. And the next one. Next one is 3. So you need to tick the number according to the instruction. So here uh, the number has 5 ones. Now you should tick the number which has 5 ones. Then 1 tens and 7 ones. Okay. And my options are 7 15. Then 5 17. 157 751 okay so these are my options now you should find out in which number in one's place 5 is there so let's write in every form let me write the place value table so here it is h t o h t o h t o h t o okay so find out here in one's place 7 is there here in one's place 7 is there in one's place 5 is there in one's place 5 is there so you should know that in which number in one's place 5 should be there so in one's place here 1 so not this here 7 not this here 7 not this i want 5 in one's place so here it is there so this is correct and 1 in tens place so it, this is also has 1 and this also has 1. But here there is no 5. So this is correct. And 1 tens and 7 hundreds. Okay. And in hundreds place you have 7. So here our 7 is in hundreds place. So this number is the correct and you need to take this answer. Okay. So here they have given you the clue. So these are the numbers. In this number, tell me which number uh, uh, 5 is in 1's place. In which number you have 5 in 1's place. So this is the number in which it is in 1's place. 5 is in 1's place. And 1 is in 10's place. Yes. And 7 is in 100's place. So this is the number you need to take. Here there is no 5 in 1's place. One, uh, uh, 7 in 100's place. Okay. So this is wrong this is not the correct answer this is not the correct answer and this is not the correct answer okay so this is the concept children so in today's class you learn the a new concept called as the place value table so i said you that two digit and three digit numbers will have a place value table so two digit numbers will have two tables ones table and tens table three digit numbers will have three tables 
three place value tables one stable ten stable and hundred stable and that is the reason you wrote for all the three digit number h t o okay so in whichever number you had h t o so for example 369 Three is in hundreds place, six is in tens place, and nine is in ones place. Okay, and the same concept you had learned today. The same concept you had learned uh, today with the representation of the numbers. Okay, so here this is the representation of the numbers. They will give you the boxes, and that you should represent. So the big square box is hundred. The long rectangle bar, uh, the long rectangle bar box is the Uh, tens and the small square box is your ones uh, place. Okay, so that's all for today's class, uh, children. Okay, uh, so I hope you understand this recorded video. Those who have not understood the recorded video, don't get uh, tension or don't worry. In the next class, I will repeat the same concept and then explain you the next concept. Okay, children. So thank you for cooperating. Uh, sorry for inconvenience caused. Uh, and please and uh, see the video. Follow the instructions and complete your page number nineteen uh, in your textbook. Okay, we'll meet you in the next class with the same content. We'll explain once again for those who have not understood. Thank you once again. Have a nice day.